So here's an application of a geometric sequence, okay? And the fact that it involves a percentage uh, immediately tells you that this is probably some sort of geometric sequence, okay? The key to solving any of these problems is to always try to write down the first few terms of the sequence so that you can identify what the common ratio is. Then you need to be able to figure out what the term is that you require. So a little picture will help us tremendously here, okay? So a ball is dropped onto a flat floor, okay? So let's say we're dropping a ball from that height, and here's the floor over here, all right? So we drop the ball onto a flat floor, and it bounces to 65% of the height from which it was dropped, okay? If it was dropped initially from 80 centimeters, I want the height of the fifth bounce. All right, so let's draw a little picture. So we drop the ball on the floor, right? It does this. And then what it, com what it does is it comes back up to 65% of its original height, and then next time comes back up to 65% of, of its next height, and then 65% again, and so forth, right? So this is what the ball is going to do when we drop it. So this is 80 here. So we know that 80 is the first term. And what I'm interested in is just the height of the fifth bounce. Another question that we could ask here is, how far does the ball actually travel in total by the fifth bounce, okay? But I just want to know the height of the fifth bounce, okay? So what's the height of the first bounce? This is the first bounce here, right? So as soon as the ball bounces, it goes back up. What's the height of the first bounce? How do I get it, though? Yes, okay. In other words, we're just going to take 80 and we're going to multiply it by 0.65, which is exactly what you said, okay? Now, that's the height of the first bounce. What's the height of the second bounce then? It's going to be 65% of this, of this, isn't it? So it's going to be 80 times 0 0.65 times 0 0.65 or 80 times 0 0.65 squared. So immediately we can see that this sequence is geometric. What's the common ratio? 0 0.65. So if I divide the second term by the first term, I'm going to get 0 0.65. If I divide the third term by the second term, I'm going to get 0 0.65. That's my common ratio. Now I just need to figure out what term do I need. I need the height of the fifth bounce. So do I need U5 or U6 or U4? Which one do I need here? Okay. Well, let's see. The second term is the height of the first bounce, isn't it? The third term is the height of the second bounce. So what term is the height of the fifth bounce? It must be the sixth term, right? It must be the sixth term. Again, the second term represents the height of the first bounce, doesn't it? The third term represents the height of the second bounce. So the term number is always one more than the bounce number. So if I want a bounce number of five, then I want a term number of six. Okay? So I find U6. What's the formula then? U6 is U1 times R to the power of five. U1 is 80. Common ratio is 0 0.65 to the power of five. And what does that give me, please, on your calculators? Three significant figures, 9.28, 9.28 uh, centimeters, okay? So the height of the fifth bounce must be 9.28 centimeters.